Hey, good evening, Fellowship Greenville. It's uh, good to be able to join you uh, wherever you might be tonight. I'm Trenton Stokes, one of the care pastors here at Fellowship Greenville. And this evening, uh, we're going to spend the entirety of our time uh, lifting up prayers to God. Now, prayer is the most obvious way that we show our dependence and reliance on God to do and control what seems to be so out of control, especially in these days. And I know there are many who are feeling vulnerable, concerned, and heavy-hearted, and, and maybe that's you. And so tonight, we're going to express our neediness, our humble dependence by falling on the good arms of the Father. And so here's what we're going to do tonight, <clears throat> okay? Christianity Today provided a helpful article about prayers to pray during COVID-19. The author is Jen Pollock Michelle, and I'm going to use some of her prayers to structure our time together. Uh, we are going to focus on eight areas for our prayer time. And I'm going to say a short prayer, and then I'm going to be quiet for a bit. And in the quiet, I want you to lift up to the Father one or two people that come to mind that match what I'm praying about. Okay? So let's pray. Father, tonight we do come to you and we look to you. Our country, Father, uh, it looks to you because we're in times that we haven't seen, at least in my lifetime, anything like this. But God, what's going on today hasn't taken you by surprise. You're still providential. You're sovereign. You rule over it all. And Lord, as, as your children, we want to put our faith and confidence, our full confidence in you. And so, Father, we want to we want to pray about this crisis that's going on. And Father, I want to start off by praying for our vulnerable populations. God, protect our elderly and those suffering from chronic disease. Provide for the poor, especially the uninsured during this time. And if you have someone in mind that you could just lift up to God, do that right now. Father, for our local, state, and federal governments, God, help our elected officials as they allocate the necessary resources for combating this pandemic. Give them great wisdom and allow them to work together as one. Help our uh, political leaders to be unified. For those with mental health challenges who might feel isolated and anxious and helpless, God, provide them with every necessary support. And Lord, I, I, I want us to lift up the homeless, those who are unable to practice the protocols of physical distancing in the shelter systems. God, protect them from disease. Provide shelters in every city and meet their needs. And God, we lift up to you missionaries throughout this world, especially in areas with high rates of infection. God, provide them with words of hope. 
equip them to love and serve those around them, help them to know that they are not alone. And Father, for families with young children at home, for the foreseeable future, we don't know how long, but God, help mothers and fathers to partner together creatively and lovingly for the care and flourishing of their children. And we pray especially for single moms and dads. Would you please grow their network of support that they too would not feel isolated and alone and overwhelmed. And Father, our economy is, it's reeling. Um, so we pray for business leaders that are having to make very difficult decisions that affect the lives of employees. God, give these women and men wisdom and help them to lead self-sacrificially. And finally, God, we want to remember our frontline healthcare workers. We thank you for their vocational call to serve us. So we pray that you would keep them safe and healthy, that you would keep their families safe and healthy. God, help them to be knowledgeable about the diagnosis and treatment of this disease, as well as the changing protocols. God, help them to stay clear-minded in the midst of the surrounding panic. God, deliver them from anxiety for their own loved ones, whether it's aging parents or spouses or children or maybe apartment mates. God, give them compassion for every patient in their care. God, provide for them financially, especially if they fall ill and are unable to work. And then, Lord, for Christian healthcare workers around this world, uh, allow them to exhibit extraordinary peace in the midst of all this so that many would ask about the reason for their hope. Give them opportunities to share your good news. God, we believe and have experienced that you are a good God and you desire to do good. So teach us here at Fellowship Greenville to be faithful people in this time of global crisis. Help us to follow in the footsteps of our faithful shepherd, Jesus, who laid down his life for the sake of love for his sheep. Glorify his name as you equip us with everything needed for doing your will. Amen. Well, Fellowship Greenville, uh, you are loved with an everlasting love. And I'm grateful that I get to serve as one of your pastors. And remember, we're in this together. This will eventually pass. Put your hope in God. Be patient in the quarantine and allow this time to deepen your love, your faith, your trust in God, and to sweeten your walk with Jesus even closer. Thanks, guys. Love you. Amen. Go, Lance.